you would think that in the alcohol world there's a lot of chemistry, am I right? There, there is a lot of chemistry. It's yes. chemistry and artistry combined, yeah. So tell us a little bit about the process of making it. Um, yeah, so uh, distillation, of course, you're making something alcoholic, so you have to start with fermentation, which is a process that a lot of people know from the breweries around here. Um, so yeast eats sugar and creates alcohol as a byproduct but it creates ethanol, drinking alcohol, and it creates all sorts of other chemicals um, as a byproduct as well. And so the process of distillation is taking the ethanol and separating it from all those other things by its boiling point, um, as alcohol has a different boiling point than water, and then it also actually has a different boiling point than all those other um, things that are in there as well. So Whether what it's, else is in there? You know, there's methanol, there's acetone, there are different um, fatty acids and oils, there are uh, all sorts of different compounds, hundreds and hundreds. And uh, so uh, when you're making something like vodka or you're making something like the base of a gin, you're trying to just separate out the ethanol. And so you do that through multiple distillations, um, which is why we have a couple of stills here. And so this big still we use for kind of the fast, dirty distillation where we are taking all of those non-water compounds, we're boiling those off and leaving a lot of water behind. So you're concentrating something from about 8% alcohol to something more like 20% alcohol. Then to get it to just ethanol, we use this other still. Um, you'll notice it has a taller column there, and then we have an even taller column in the back. So by having things travel that long distance, we create a temperature gradient so we can separate the ethanol out very specifically. For something like whiskey, you actually want not just ethanol, you want some of those other compounds as well. So we mainly just use this still and distill it twice. And then you put that dirty stuff into a barrel and over time, um, the different compounds interact with each other and they interact with the barrel to give you some of the complexity and the interesting flavors that you get in a whiskey. So it's helpful that you have a chemistry background. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it helps, you know, it's, it's pretty, the distillation itself is pretty basic organic chemistry. Everybody does that when you're doing um, chemistry in college, except on a tiny scale. The stuff that happens in a barrel is chemistry that people are still trying to understand. It's like chemistry meets magic. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fascinating stuff and people are um, still researching it and still trying to figure out why you can have two barrels next to each other in the barrel house that seem exactly the same and the stuff inside will age totally differently. So how does it feel to be like the exact example of why you should pay attention in chemistry? <laughs> Feels great. Science is great.